Okay, it's time now to do a Facebook Live with, well, possibly the country's most powerful man, Mukesh Ambani. When you're called the country's most powerful man, you seem to... I don't take that seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking it seriously. But, but I'm going to ask you all the things that you do when you're not the country's most powerful man. What does Mukesh Ambani like to do most when he's not thinking about how to, about the quarterly results of Reliance Industries? Nowadays, I'm having a great time uh, spending time with my children and more importantly, friends of my children. So I get to really understand what 25-year-olds think. And what? I spend quite a bit of time with them. What do 25-year-olds think? Tell us. What are the three things that you think 25-year-old Indians want the most at the moment? Well, I think that uh, the first thing is that they are hugely aspirational. Right? For them, Nothing is impossible. The second thing that strikes me is, and you know, we used to say it for visionaries, but I see young people in India always wanting to challenge conventional wisdom and saying, you know, they are now looking at finding problems and solving problems rather than complaining, which is a big change from my generation. And the third thing is all of them and uh, fortunately, my children have friends across, uh, you know, across many strata of society, across many uh, professions. Right? But one thing uniformly is everybody has a mindset of doing things in the right way and doing things honestly, and are not willing to accept the system. That is like this, right? They want to do what is right, which I think is very good news for India. So if Mukesh Ambani was 25 years old all over again, what would Mukesh Ambani do? Would you still go and handle uh, Dhirubhai wish... Ambani's plants in Patal Ganga or in uh, uh, Jamnagar, or would you do something else at 25? I think if I had the same infectious enthusiasm that uh, this generation has, right, Reliance would be 10 times bigger. Reliance would be 10 times bigger, you are saying? If you were, if you were if 20... I, if I had the same enthusiasm and the infection that I see in the 25-year-olds that I meet, and they are not even restricted to uh, my children and their friends, but the 25-year-olds that I see at Reliance, right? And I think that's, uh, that's the new India that everybody is talking about. When you wake up in the morning, what's the first thing you do? Look at the Geo app and how many viewers you have on Geo now? You count, find out from your office or what do you do? What's the with, first thing? With my age and with Nita's influence, like the first thing I do is pray. So, and that, that's, that's universal. So fundamentally, uh, all, and for that matter, all, all generations in our family pray. And that's, that's one thing that's not changed. Just a couple of quick snap questions. How do you relax? How do you feel? I know you said 25. How do you feel? What is it that, what is the, your hobby, your favorite hobby? When you're not thinking about, as I said, quarterly results, your favorite hobby? I really don't think that much about quarterly results and all the other stuff. I have always believed that uh, you got to try your best and uh, leave everything else to everybody else, right? So in that sense, I'm not that hyper. But in terms of, uh, I like to read a lot. So I, and I, I am a voracious uh, reader. Uh, and now with the visual media, I watch a lot. You watch a lot? of uh, what, like, and that uh, keeps my mind uh, occupied and focused. What do you and read? that's the best relation. What, what do you enjoy reading? I read everything in terms of, uh, right, and now I'm more into uh, spiritual reading in terms of uh, uh, all the Vedantas and, uh, and of course I do a lot of my science and technology reading and any anybody that any, but like, you know, anything that anybody gives me. You enjoy going out to wildlife sanctuaries, isn't that true? You like the peace and quiet of the wildlife. Yes, we, I love uh, nature as is. And uh, if, uh, ideally, I would like to take seven, ten days off uh, completely unconnected uh, uh, in nature. And I, I try and do that once. Your again. favorite food? Idli sambar. <laughs> <laughs> the favorite place, your favorite spot in Mumbai, where you feel, what, for you, which is the favorite place in Mumbai? It's your still, favorite? Uh, like, 
from a restaurant point of view, still Mysore Cafe, where uh, I did chemical engineering. It's uh, that's where I ate for four years, and uh, from seventy-five to seventy-nine, and I still continue right until twenty-seven. So you still order idlis and dosas from Mysore I Cafe? I still order wow. idlis and dosas from Mysore Cafe, and go there once a week. Your favorite uh, place <laughs> to holiday in India or the world? For me, holidays are more uh, about company than places. So my favorite. Uh, people and we have uh, diverse we always argue about this in our family but it's more about uh, uh, what we do the company we keep and uh, you know and the things we do together that's more important than the place final question if mukesh ambani was not heading reliance industries what would you like to do what would your favorite other profession have been i always wanted to be a teacher uh, 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 like you know and i i until my father got me back right i wanted to uh, really teach really and uh, uh, now i'm doing it vicariously because nita is a teacher and hopefully between the two of us uh, we'll do something in education in the coming years mukesh ambani thank you very much uh, for for Thanks talking to us and we look